today we shall learn the next concept in a uh, chapter tissue before i move on to the next topic we just need to recall what we learned last class so the last video what i have explained is that in a plant all the regions don't grow uniformly all right all the regions don't grow uniformly but uh, few regions grow more actively and few regions go passively this portion over here this consist of non dividing tissues right and the this portion over here and the root section over here these two consist of dividing tissues because it a grow corrible like right non dividing tissues means it a divide no hoy to section to stem section to gut boli koy a section to grow no kore all right okay so this is what i learned about plant tissues today we are going to learn this concept of dividing tissues we are going to learn dividing tissues today all right okay let's go to this topic now so dividing tissues are essentially called meristematic tissues so don't get scared with the names bio is all about the terms so you have to practice the terms again and again so that you can remember all right so meristematic tissues are basically of three types let me write the names for you one is the apical apical meristematic tissues other is the lateral lateral meristematic tissues and the last one is called intercalary meristematic tissue all right intercalary is it intercalary intercalary meristematic tissues all right so now i'll draw the plant over here so that you understand let's take a plant over here and there's a root section over there right okay the apical meristem at the present in the those sections which gives you the length that means it will be present here and here because these two will be responsible for the length length of the plant that means apical meristem ki kore plant to length to bore all right now next comes lateral meristem lateral meristem lateral means side is present here and this is responsible for sidewise growth growth it in biology this is called gut trunk you don't know trunk or is the gut thai gut right apical meristem was responsible for length right let me light it here so that you understand properly and the lateral meristem is responsible for gut right this to understood the last comes intercalary meristem now what is intercalary meristem intercalary meristem are present here now i have to draw this again here a section to it to quite tweaks by out tweaks when it tweaks to bari and ake bari jabo to branch ho jabo no tweaks becomes branch isn't it it tweaks will like a branch hoy he to hoy because of intercalary meristem intercalary meristem to at present thake ar a to karane a tweaks to go at a moment branch hobo all right so let me re revisit all these things apical meristem is responsible for length lateral meristem is responsible for gut that means the sidewise growth and the intercalary meristem is responsible for tweaks becoming branch all right so who, can you answer me the which is the most active meristematic tissue all right try to answer this question and meristematic tissues are living or dead obviously meristematic tissues are dead all right they are dividing so try to answer this question out of these all these three meristematic tissues which is the most active all right i'll upload the next concept tomorrow till then please read the textbooks and make the necessary notes